Nick Spencing here. Today what we're doing is we are running a magnet around a pasture that we have repaired. Uh, what we do is uh, we go around and take off the old boards and uh, the old post on uh, these horse farms and as we knock them off or cut the boards, the nails will fall off the boards, you know. So we're just running a magnet that I've created. That's off of, that trailer is a uh, is an old dirt bike trailer you can haul dirt bikes on and I just converted it and I found a magnet. This was my first magnet that I ever come up with. I've got some that are stronger. I think that magnet will lift up 700 pounds. Uh, it does a really nice job of picking up nails. We got it really, really close to the ground. You can kind of see it uh, waving there through the grass. And I'll go two or three passes around these paddocks. And uh, as I go along, if I don't pick any nails up on my last pass, I'll just quit from there. I'm on my uh, second pass. I'm about eight feet from the fence line, just checking out making sure that there's nothing that's this far out if you are having fence repair done it is best to run these magnets I can't preach enough about these things it's a uh, not necessarily a, a free service but it is something that I supply to my customers that way I feel better that we don't have a nail that come off of my truck or my nail guns laying in the field uh, there still could be if it's stuck in the mud or something, but the best thing we can do is run this magnet until we quit finding nails. And I'm going to show you all the different uh, style of nails that I'm finding out here. Uh, some are the original nails and some are the nails that uh, were put up a few years ago. I like to have everything as quiet as it can be. No radio, no fans blowing if possible. Uh, the machine's loud enough, but as soon as I hear a nail hit the magnet back there, I immediately jump off. That way the grass or the dirt won't hit it and, and uh, knock it back off in the field. an hour with this magnet it's kind of hard with this uh, RTV uh, the foot pedals so sensitive and I got it in low and running the magnet roughly three inches off the ground just barely touching the edge of the grass these are all the nails that I found today went around each paddock three or four times and come up with this many nails and that's quite a few nails to be laying out in the field this is a close-up of my little magnet that I've got built it lifts up about 600 pounds and we just lap around the field two or three times in a field that we've repaired or taken everything down